guys today we're going to go over how to create curved text so if you wanted to say wrap a text around a circle or cut it out of a circle um, we're going to go over that um, and then we'll jump into some other stuff in later videos about how to maybe incorporate a sign and utilizing curved text so I'm going to click on the circle feature here or I can click the letter C on the keyboard that gets me there as well I'm just going to go ahead and make a circle um, let's do 12 inch radius. That makes it a 24 inch circle. I'll click the center again and make this one 9. Gives me roughly about a 4.5 inch band on the outside. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and select the text feature. And I'm just going to type in text test curved. So type that text. I'm going to click the checkbox there. If I select this text now um, and go up here, you'll notice there's a little curve text function with a T above the arc. We click on that. We're basically just going to right click. Oh, we're going to select our arc. And so I selected both and by holding control and then I right click. So I'm going to click escape. We'll do this one more time. We go up to the curve text feature. We select the text, hold control, select the arc we want to map the text around, and then notice the little right click on the um, the mouse on the screen. So we just right click and then it curves it. Um, notice this is upside down, so we can flip it like that by clicking the little flip curves there. And then we can drag this little bar to position it wherever we want it around the curve. Um, as we zoom in here, now we're going to spread this um, so it's centered. So I'm just going to increase, oh, where we go, vertical offset. I'm just going to click and increase that. If you just click it, um, normally you get it where you want a little bit easier than guessing numbers. So just click up or down to get it inside or outside of the arc you selected. Um, so that looks roughly about centered. And we'll click the checkbox. And then now I'm just going to click the text, click on the X on the keyboard to explode it, and click the check on the bottom. And there it is. So that would be, you know, ready to cut out of this. We'd want to do some stenciling. Um, so if you wanted to use the bridging tool, you could do that and stencil these E's. Um, you can kind of click on it and just drag them through. Click on it and drag them through. If you don't, aren't familiar with this, um, function, uh, go ahead and watch our bridging tool video, um, and that'll kind of go over that. And we can do the same thing with the D, we can get kind of creative, make a diagonal arc through there, and click the check. So there it is, that would be ready to cut out. So thanks so much for watching guys, Like once again we're going to keep these videos short. Um, if you have any video requests, feel free to go to our website, www.squickmans.com. Uh, you can go over to the Contact Us area. You can drop in a video request there. Any softwares that you'd like to um, learn that we um, have the access to, we'd be more than happy to do that. Um, but our goal is to keep them short and then show you um, valuable skills. We won't get into huge projects, at least not at this point, um, but really just to give you a core fundamental skills class on how to take these and you can incorporate them all together um, to be able to accomplish the projects that you want to work out. So thanks so much, guys. Uh, we will see you next time.